Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. I am going to do a quick video tutorial on creating this file folder uh, folio. I actually made this during a crafting group that, um, through Junk Journal Canada. So a bunch of ladies got together. Hi ladies! And we created this uh, folio and I did do a flip through. There is a video of a flip through of this folio. But one of the comments, actually I got a couple of comments asking me to do a tutorial on this. And I did teach it <laughs> at the crafting group. We kind of followed along and did it together. And um, I, we decorated it afterwards, but we created the folio during the little crafting group. And it was a wing it, fly by the seat of my pants kind of thing. Because I, I created it and then when I got there I had to try and recreate it. Um, they kind of threw it at me as, Darlene, can you teach this? So... Anyway, we're going to go today and we're going to try and recreate it. Um, you're going to need three letter size file folders. And the finished folio is 9 inches by 6 inches. So what we're going to do is um, take one of the file folders and we're going to cut it with the fold on this side. We're going to cut it from the fold and we're going to cut it 6 inches. And the height is going to be 9 inches. So we're going to cut off this part here. Okay, so with file folder number one... It's going to be cut into a 9 by 6 but because this folio has the two leaves or flip outs in it and I've added paper to the center you want to create a little bit of a spine to it so I've got about a 1 8 inch spine here or maybe a 2 8 inch spine I'm just going to double check that so it's probably a 2 8 so a quarter inch spine there so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the file folder to nine inches and then we're going to come back and we're going to actually score down the center um, and we're going to cut six inches from either side of those lines so first let's cut it off at nine inches okay so there's our height we got the right height now we have to take our scoreboard and I want to, from that fold line, I'm going to butt the fold line up against my scoreboard and I'm going to score it a quarter of an inch or two eighths, quarter of an inch um, along this. Hold on, let me see if I can do this like that. So we're going to do a quarter of an inch score line. And I'll just do it one more time like that. And then we're going to fold that on that score line. And you can make it a little wider if you want to add more paper. Um, it's totally up to you how wide you want your spine. But this is where we're going to... <laughs> sorry, playing with it here. We're going to fold that, if I can get a hold of it. There we go. We're going to fold that like that. And use your bone folder. And just slide along. So now I have... A little tiny spine and that's only a quarter inch if you want to do a um, you know three eighths make it a little wider that's fine this one is just going to be a swap so I'm not going to be doing the book pages in the middle I'm just going to be doing the pockets so there's my quarter spine now from each of these folds I want to cut it at six inches so from that fold I'm going to cut six inches and then I'm going to flip it over and from that fold I'm going to do six inches so this when it's cut we will have six inches as our outer spine. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've cut those pieces off. Now save all your little bits and pieces because you will be able to use these for tags and extra parts of the pockets and stuff. So I'm going to set those aside. So this is my outer piece of my journal. Or my folio, sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two inch punch and I'm going to create some little cutouts here on the front and if you hold this folio together and mark the center which will be four and a half so there's my center I'm going to go ahead and punch out make sure we're holding that nice and tight I'm going to go ahead and punch out a little Maybe not. <laughs> All right, let's try it singly. There we go. There we go. 
one. And we'll go this side. And two. So those are going to be my little pockets for the outside. Now for the inside folder, you're going to take another one of your file folders. They're underneath here. Okay. Now for, for one side, we're going to flip it up. And for the other side, we're going to create a flap. So you want to keep this back side as your flap like that and this side is going to be your flip up so I'm going to cut the the shortest side of the folder is going to be cut to six inches wide okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that so the shorter piece I've cut to six inches wide all right and then I'm going to score it at nine inches only because I'm going to cut off the bottom on one side. So if we score that at nine inches, okay, I know that on this side I'm going to be creating a pocket. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut up and I'm going to cut on the right side just about an eighth of an inch up that fold there so this is now going to become a flip up pocket okay so that's the shorter side of the file folder if you're looking at your file folder it's going to be this side is going to be your flip up then on this side we're just going to cut it off at the nine inches and leave the excess flap so one we're cutting it by width, the other we're cutting it by length. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off that extra piece there. Alright, so I've gone ahead and cut off, and all I did was folded that end in, folded it over, and I had already scored it across, so I just followed along my score. So now, on this edge, we're going to go ahead and score it at the 6 inch mark. Like so. And we're going to fold this back this way. Make sure it's nice and straight. There. I know it sounded a little complicated and we're going to do it again on this side of the file folder. So what you want to have end up with is a pocket on one side and when you close that flap you're going to have another tuck spot on that side. And I'll show you again in my folio. We have that flap to create a tuck spot here and when we open it up we have a pocket here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is take a piece of my leftover cuttings. And it doesn't matter which ones you use. Oops. I think I'm going to go... You can just use one of these to create the second part of that pocket. I have a scrap piece here that has that tag, but it's awfully long. It's going to take up the whole thing. So I'm just going to use this plain piece like this. And we're going to create on the inside a second pocket and it only has to be you can just leave the width it just has to come up a couple of inches so you just want to cut this one to the um, width of your file folder and maybe a little bit less so it's probably going to be six inches but we're going to go ahead and cut that off so that you're creating a second pocket to go there and I'm going to um, cut both of my tops of my folder with my punch here 
so that it looks like a tab on the top. So I'm just going to set it in my tab punch and punch that off like that. And I'll do this one too, just to give it that same look. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this pocket. I'm going to set it in there. It's, you just put it in the center of the punch and punch down and it gives you that little tab. So now I have, let me move this guy away, my second pocket here, like that. Now you can either, um, I'm going to decorate, um, distress the edges and decorate it and then either glue or sew down the pockets. I haven't decided which, but you will sew these. If you're going to sew these, you're going to sew these pockets down before you add it to your flap of your outer flap here. Let me just open this up. So this one will get attached to the outer flap um, here. And you're going to leave a, against that little fold there, you're going to leave a little tiny space there. So before you do all this, you're going to be distressing, but that's how you're going to have one flap like this. And then we're going to create the flap on this side as well. Like that. Okay. So again, if you're going to sew these pockets on down, you have to distress, decorate it. So you're going to have to wait and then sew these edges down once it's all decorated and then attach it to your outer folder. Okay. So let's create the other flap on the other side. So all I'm going to do is take my other file folder and I'm going to turn it inside out and flip it this way so that when I create this pocket again, I'm going to have the tab at the top and I'm going to be able to fold that piece back. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing. So let me just set this guy aside. I hope I haven't confused anyone or lost anyone. So I've taken my file folder that was, all of them were um, with the tab at the bottom on, and the largest piece was on the back. So I want to turn it and turn it inside out like that. And then I'm going to turn it this way. All right. So for this side, we're going to be cut. We're going to be creating the six inches wide and leaving the length. So we're going to cut this the six inches on this side only, the shorter side with the flap at the top. We're going to do a six inch width. Okay, so there's my cut, and there's my six inch width. Then I'm going to score across here at nine inches. And I'm going to do it this way because I want to make sure I have my nine inches. Get that out of the way. Sorry for the shadows again, another dark, dreary day here. So I'm just giving myself a little mark here. Like that. So then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut on the inside of this little line just by about an eighth of an inch so that when I fold up my flap it doesn't get caught on the edges. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this whole piece off and I'm just going to move it over to the light here because I'm standing in my shadow and we're going to cut this piece off. You can do it on your cutter but it's easier to do it with scissors so you don't end up cutting your flap off. There, like that. So this will be our flap. Make sure I'm doing this right now. <laughs> yeah, this will be our flap going up. And we use our bullet folder. Right. And then from this edge, we're going to hold that up against our edge and we're going to do six inches right there. Okay. I'm going to close it and we're going to fold this flap back and make sure you're right up against the edge there and you're going to fold that back like that. Now you're going to be decorating this whole thing so all of this will get covered. So right now we have one flap that goes on this side and we have another flap that goes on this side like that. So then when you open it up, you have your pockets. Okay. So now all you have to do is create another pocket. So I'm just going to take this piece again that was left over. I'm going to mark my six inches approximately right there. 
set him aside, set him aside. I'm going to cut my piece of paper. that little piece. I'm going to take my punch and again I'm going to recreate those tabs by putting that one in there, that one in there. And that didn't turn out very nicely so I'm just going to flip it over, create my tabs again from the top. There. <laughs> now that's going to tuck in underneath so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay so the same thing. I'm going to create our tabs on the edges of the pocket. And again, you don't have to do this part. You can leave them square, you can round them, you can do whatever you like. I just like that look of the tab using the file folder. And then this will now be my pocket here. Like that. Okay. And again, you may want to trim that back a little bit because um, once you decorate it with papers and stuff, it will get a little thicker. So you can even trim these down, these pockets back a little tiny bit so that when you fold it, it doesn't get there. And then again, you want to distress, decorate, and then you're going to sew your pockets or glue your pockets closed. Okay. And same with this one. You're going to distress, cover them with paper. Then you're going to sew those pockets in. And then once this one is complete, distress covered with paper and sewn or glued, you're then going to attach it to the cover of your outside piece. And you've got to make sure that you're about not even an eighth of an inch away from that little spine there on that inside piece when you put it together like that. So that when you close this piece, it doesn't hit. You want to actually move it over about an eighth of an inch. Make sure you give yourself that space. And you know, try it a couple of times because once you get this in here and it's decorated, see, you want to be able to close it. So that's why I always say distress, cover everything, sew your pockets or glue your pockets down, and then we will add it to this. And then you can decorate your outer piece. And then again, if you want to sew that on, decorate your outer piece and then sew your, you can sew your pocket in around like that. Okay. So there is the file folder. I'm going to go ahead and start distressing this and then um, maybe add, start adding some of the Christmas paper to it. So I'll be right back. Hi there. Okay, so now we have everything distressed. I've done my edges of my flaps, my two pockets for that side, and my two pockets for that side. I don't have to distress the inside because I'm going to be gluing that down. And I've just distressed the outside. Okay, so then I'm going to pick, I'm going to use, because it's a file folder and it's fairly thick, I'm just using paper, not cardstock, to cover this um, folio. And I've chosen two different, um, different kinds of paper. And I'm going to go ahead and start covering this up. I think I'm going to do like that and that, like that. Um, cover the whole thing, and I have about four sheets of each of these. I These are just extra papers that I have in my stash. I'm going to go ahead and start covering these, and once I start figuring out the sizes and everything, I will come back. I figure I'm going to need, see now, because this is a pocket, you don't have to take the paper right to the very back, so I could literally make this paper probably four inches wide that I'm going to put on this side because it just has to go underneath the flap. So I could do my four by, um, it's going to be nine, but you remember you want to, I like to be in about an eighth of an inch from the edge. So I'm still going to cut it four by nine and then I'll trim it back. And then the same thing for this, I'm going to cut it the three and a half by nine and then I'll trim it back. Um, so that'll be that side. And then when I open it up, I will also have the papers on the inside. Um, and then the outside cover as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting some of those papers. So for the front piece, I've just cut it to nine, but it's four inches by nine inches. And then I've taken this piece and it's three and a half by nine inches. And again, I'm going to trim them back a little bit so they fit on properly. But I've trimmed those two pieces and then I've cut the exact same pieces for the other side. And then when I went into the inside, I'm cutting a 
I cut off the nine inch piece first, so I end up with a three inch by 12 inch piece going across the bottom. I save that, I set that aside. So I have a six by nine piece here. And then I take my three inch by 12 inch piece and I cut it in half. So I have two six inch pieces and I use that for this center pocket. So use that one. And then I cut another piece. This one is eight inches by, um, eight inches by six inches because it doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom and then the piece that I had left over again I cut it in half to six inches and that will be my bottom pocket so those are the pieces and then because you have two of everything as you're cutting them you take your 12 inch and you cut it into six I have duplicates for the other side exactly so I'm going to go ahead and start trimming this up so let me just close this back this. so this piece here See, I want a little bit of the edge to show around the outside, so I'm just going to trim off the tiniest little bit off the bottom, and I like to use my pencil just to make sure I don't take too much off. I'm just going to trim the bottom off, like that. So then I will go ahead and glue this piece on. Then this piece will come down, and then I'll work on my flap. So I'm going to use, I as well use Fabri-Tac. I have glitter glue. But I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac up here. This one's been open for a while. And I find they go a bit hardish. And it'll just work faster. So we'll glue this on really quickly. Whew, stinky. And see what I mean? That you don't have to worry too much about having the words showing because you are going to be covering everything up. So I'll just give that a quick roll like that. And then on this side, this piece, again, I want a little bit of the edge to show. So I'm going to cut a smidge off the edge of this. Okay. So there is my face showing. And then what I normally do is I set this along the fold where I want it to be sitting on the top. I'm sure you want to pull it out a bit. And then I just trace along the outer edges of my file folder here. Let's tap that in a bit. There we go. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim that where I actually drew that line. Just gonna cut this along here. And like that. And it probably has to be trimmed back a little bit more. But then you get your shape of your file folder. And this side, I just have to recut this little bit here. And I just like to use my pencil. There. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that little guy up. Set that off. And then that will go over top of that piece like that. So let's glue that on. And again, I'm going to leave everything till the end before I sew things together. Now, if you don't want the sewing lines to show on the underside, you would sew it now before you glue your paper on the underside of the, and I'll show you just one second, let me glue this on here. So we're gonna glue that on like that, and again, just give it a quick roll. Okay, so that's on. Now, if you wanted to sew these clothes and you didn't want the sewing lines to show here, you would go ahead and sew these on now and then glue your paper down so you wouldn't get those sewing lines showing. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and trim this paper up a smidge here. Make sure that's the right width. Yep. And again, a little bit off the bottom. If you, if you cut your paper to the exact size you need and then trim it afterwards, then you don't end up cutting it too short. So there. There's my piece for that side. Now again, I don't know if I'm going to sew these closed or not. I haven't decided, so I'm going to wait to sew that one or to glue that one on. But I'm going to go ahead and start with these ones. 
So this side again, I have to trim it back a little bit for the width. To worry about the length because it's going to be under my pockets but I want to make sure it's thin enough oops get in there mm, that looks all right could have been a little bit thinner maybe just try a little bit thinner there. okay so we're going to go ahead and glue this one down to the edges okay and then we're going to work on let's work on the bottom pocket real quick here same thing we're going to trim it to the width we want let's make sure that's more wide enough now remember we trimmed a little bit off this pocket to make it thinner so you have to take a little bit more than you think off there Now the other thing you can do is um, put it through your punch. Did I put it away? I did. I'm going to try it this way and see if this works. Let's put it in the punch. Like that. And then you just have to trim a little bit more off the bottom. So that measure is fine. Let's see if I can get in there. See, I've just cut my tabs out of the paper. And I know that I want it to go down a little bit more, so I've made a little mark there. And we'll trim this little guy up. There we go. And then, now it goes on here like that. So I'm going to glue that piece down. And then the same with this one. Let's cut our the width we need. Make sure that's the width I need. That's perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it through my punch and cut my tabs on the edges like that and there it is get that off there so there's that and then I'm just going to measure where I need my pocket and again this is an inside pocket so it doesn't have to be shorter it just has to be the width of the pocket I'm just going to go ahead and glue that on like that and then that will be underneath that will be my second pocket so let's glue that on my second pocket attached and again it will go underneath like that so there is my flaps decorated like that now if I'm going to sew my pockets on I'm going to go ahead and do that before I put it onto my flap there and if I want to sew this flap down I'm going to sew that and then glue this piece on so I'm going to leave those pieces for later and I'm going to go ahead and do my second 
flap here, do all the same pieces here, and I'll sew my pieces down, and then when I come back, we'll decorate the outside. All right, so we're now finished. I just went ahead and glued the edges rather than sew, but I've added my pockets, my paper, and there are my two flaps. And then you take your outside cover. Now I've taken a little strip of the paper and I've added it to the center. And I, I scored it to the same width as my spine. And then I just, as it was drying, I just kept bending it back and forth so that when I when it dries it's not going to crack or do anything like that so I'm going to let that dry but on the, in the meantime I've added one of my pages to the front cover so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side so I've trimmed it down um, I cut it six by nine and then I cut a little off the bottom and then a little off the side and then all I've done is mark with a pencil where my punch marks are for my hole for my um, thumb mark and I'm going to take my punch and I'm going to look for those two marks and I'm just going to make it a tiny bit bigger than that and punch that out I just noticed they got a little, a little extra piece there so I'm just going to crunch that again there we go Okay, so I've got my piece now cut out and I'm going to glue that on. So that is my front and back covers. And again, I'm going to add more things on top of this. This is just my base. Um, I'll be adding vintage Christmas cards and stuff like that. Ooh, lace and whatever to the to the folio front cover. This is just again my base to get it done. So we add some glue to this and we're going to go ahead and glue this guy on there. Ugh, sticky. I'm just going to make this one a little bigger. Let me see. I've done the... There we go. It's a little better. Okay, so there's my front and back cover. And then my inside, I've let that dry. And so now when I fold it, it folds nicely. It doesn't wrinkle. And then we're going to take our two flaps and we're going to glue those on there. And you want to make sure you can see where your fold is. So I'm just going to hold it up on my fold so that when I glue this piece on, I want to bring it back about an eighth of an inch away from that fold so that when I close it, this piece will close in perfectly. Now before you glue it on, the other thing that I did, I took my folios and when you flip it over, I've added another little strip to the edge so that when, when you add, when you put this in here and glue it in like that, you're going to see a little bit of the edge of the paper underneath instead of just the file folder. So I'm going to do that to the back of this one, right on this edge here. And again, it's just a six by nine or six inch or nine inch piece. Sorry, <laughs> got my measurements all screwed. A nine inch piece, and it's about an inch and a half wide. And I'm just going to quickly glue that on. And that's going right on the edge, like right up to the edge, so that that is what you see like that. So that when I flip this over and glue this on and flip it closed, that's what you're going to see. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and again, this is going to be a pocket, so you're only gluing around the out outer edges of this. So you're just going to glue the outer edges of this and again you can sew it if you wish but I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on and I'm just going to pull this one off and pull that up to my fold I want it to be back far enough 
that when that is closed and that is closed, I can still see my outer edges there. Okay, let me make sure that's nice and even. And we got a little pocket. And then we're gonna close that up. And I'm going to just grab So I need to hold that close so that it doesn't flop around when I'm trying to glue this guy in. And again, we're going to glue the three edges so that we're making a pocket. Like that. I'm just going to flip this guy around and open this one up. And where is my spine? Right there. So we're going to place it and close it, and then I'm going to close up my spine and make sure that I'm not too close. And open that guy up. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. And I'm going to find my fold of my spine, and it probably can come back a smidge. There. So when I close this up now, there. Perfect. Oh, and I glued that on upside down, didn't I? No, I didn't. Oh, good. Phew. I just turned it around. <laughs> okay, let's turn it back around before I totally get messed up. <laughs> so there is my little folio. Has its little spine and then what I do is I just add a little lace to the spine and I was just looking through some of the laces that I have here and I don't know if I want to do white I have to do almost a creamy color so I'm just going to see what I have as the creamy color I don't have a lot of lace I have this one I'm going to use this one this one's already sticky and pre-stuck So I can use this one. That's nice. Okay, so let's cut that to nine inches. And I'll just use my uh, cutting mat here. First off, I'm going to cut the edges again. So let's get a nice smooth cut there. And we'll put this one on this side right here. It's got a little bit of a stickiness to it already. And then I'll cut that off and then I'll put some glue on it because it only has a strip on the one side. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little glue to the spine. And a little glue to the edge here. And then what I do is I just roll it onto the spine and then roll it onto the back. And that will give you a nice coverage. Oops, I think I rolled it too fast. There we go. glue here. Like there. Sorry, my, my lace just kind of tucked under a bit. I guess I didn't check it before I pulled it off my... When I tea stained it, it got a little folded under there. Perfect. So there is my spine. Just make sure it's all not tucked under. Good. 
So there is your folio. Now you just have to decorate it with whatever you like. Um, my Edith Holden one, I did Edith Holden book pages and then I added the lace on the edge. I may add some buttons to this and I will do a book plate and again I just used a piece of the file folder and cut it down and I believe it's just like a almost a three inch by one and a quarter inch. I'm going to do that. And then you just distress your edges. And then that will go on there. And then I just used that little piece of book page, but you can use some of this as the inside piece. That would look nice. Cut it back. Quickly here. I lost my mark. I cut my mark off. That was silly. <laughs> okay, so right about there. So just under the middle of that snowflake. And then that can go on inside that one. Maybe cut off a little tiny bit more. And then I will just use a, one of the book plates on top of that as well. Now again, if you're going to add a book plate onto this, my suggestion would be to put your little brads through and have it on the inside before you glue your flap on and put a piece of masking tape over the end so that it doesn't catch on when you do anything. I will just put the um, brads through this piece of paper and then glue this piece of paper onto that or make it go through both of these and then glue it on. But I will, um, I didn't make it go through the front cover. But you can do that if you want to. So I'm just going to do that and that and then add my brads and then that will go on the front of that as well. So that's about it. It's basically the same. You just want to add some little things into your pockets. Um, I did get this from one of the ladies in our journaling group and I'm hoping she's bringing some more when we get together again. Um, and then you have your pockets. You can add a little pad of paper here or an envelope, which I think is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to add, um, I have some red envelopes. I have these Christmas envelopes plus I have some red envelopes. So I may just add an envelope, oops, onto the inside flap there, or maybe this red one. I might do the red one like that, so that we can add things to that. That one's kind of pretty. Or do it this way. But I really like the outside of that little house. He's cute. Maybe I'll make that a flap this way. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and decorate it with some things. I'm not going to show you what I'm decorating because this is a swap and I don't want the um, lady that's receiving it to see it before it's finished. So I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching.